In this step-by-step -step video, I show you how to install Windows 10 on your Mac using Boot Camp, but this time on an external drive. Check it out. So installing Windows 10 on your Mac using Boot Camp on an external drive is just slightly more complicated than installing Windows 10 via Boot Camp on an internal drive on your Mac. The good news is that it's not overly difficult, it just takes a little bit of time. So if you follow along here, I'll show you how to do it. The first thing you're going to need is the Windows 10 ISO. I'll have a link in the description where you can go to get that. So you want to select Windows 10 under the anniversary update. Choose your language. And I think I still speak English. And then click confirm. And then you want to choose the 64-bit download. Save that to your desktop, which I've already done. As you can see right here. So there's the Windows 10 ISO ready to go. The next thing we need is VMware Fusion. Now this comes with a free 30 day trial. So that's plenty of time for you to follow along with this tutorial. You can download it using the link in the description. And once you do save it to your desktop as I've done right here. All right. And then the last thing we're going to need is a windows utility called win to USB. And again, we'll have that link in the description. You can download it. Save it to your desktop, which I've done right here, windowusbfree.exe. All right, so once you have those three things downloaded and saved to your desktop, it's time to get started. So open up Finder, open Applications, open the Utilities folder, and then open up Boot Camp Assistant. Once Boot Camp Assistant is open, go to the menu bar and select Action, and select download Windows support software. This will download the bootcamp drivers for you. All right, so you wanna just save that to your desktop. It's gonna save a Windows support folder to your desktop. Click save. This will take some time. Now you'll notice throughout this whole tutorial, I'm gonna speed things up quite a bit so you're not sitting here waiting. So in other words, don't be alarmed when it takes longer for you. Just pause the video and then you can pick right back up. All right, so we're almost done there. You see the Windows support folder on the desktop. It's gonna ask for your administrator password. Just put that in, click OK. And once it's all done, click Quit. And like I said, there is Windows support on the desktop. Okay, so the next thing you wanna do is to connect your external drive to your Mac, the one you're gonna to use to install Windows Boot Camp on, preferably an SSD if possible. Once you have it connected, Mac OS should recognize that drive. There it is, tough SSD. All right, so we wanna open up the Finder again, go back to Applications, go back to Utilities. This time we wanna open up Disk Utility. All righty. Now there's a lot going on here on my Disk Utility. I'm just gonna minimize everything and concentrate on the CalDigit Tough Media Drive, which is the drive I just connected. You wanna select your drive and then click erase. Make sure there's nothing on the drive that you need. Back anything up that you may need. For name, use bootcamp, format, macOS, extended, journaled, scheme, GUID, partition map. Click erase. And it goes through and does its thing. Then click done. Now you can close out of disk utility. Okay, so now it's time to go ahead and get our virtual machine set up. Again, we're gonna use VMware Fusion. So just open up the DMG file, we can mount that. It'll take just a second. All right, now double click where it says VMware Fusion. And then click open when you see it ask you to do so. All right. Now put in your administrator password, and then click OK. All right, then select agree. And then I want to try VMware Fusion 8 for 30 days. Click continue. Put in an email address, your email address if you want to do that. And then click continue. Put your administrator password back in. Uncheck yes, unless you want to get emails. And then click done. Okay, on the select the installation method screen, make sure install from disk or image is selected and click continue. Now just drag the Windows 10 disk image over to the landing spot, like this. 
and release. Then click continue. And then in the drop down box at the bottom, choose your Windows version, in this case, Windows 10 Pro, and then click continue. Click continue without key, select more isolated, click continue, and then click finish. And then click save. Okay, the thing I love about VMware Fusion is that if you choose the easy install, it really is easy. It sets everything up for you. You don't have to interface with the setup at all. It's non-interactive, it just does its thing. And like I said earlier, I sped this up obviously to help get through this as soon as possible. But again, VMware Fusion is just a wonderful tool, totally worth the price in my opinion if you want to outright buy it because it makes the Windows installation that easy. So there we are folks, already at our desktop. Didn't have to interact with the setup at all. So if you see this, you can just click yes. I'm using a wired network, so I don't have to connect to a wireless network. If you need to do that, you can go ahead and do so. If you get a prompt about antivirus, just select don't show again. Now it's time to eject our external drive so that the Windows Virtual Machine can recognize it. So just right click on the external drive, select Eject Bootcamp, and there we go. So now we're just going to disconnect and reconnect the external drive to the Mac, like that. And now VMware Fusion is smart enough to recognize the new connection, so it's gonna ask where would you like to connect the drive? Select Connect to Windows. Okay, so now our external drive is connected to Windows. Now it's time to right click on the start menu and select disk management. And then you should see the external drive. You should be able to tell by the size. I wanna right click on the primary partition like this and select delete volume and then select yes. It'll delete that volume. And now we'll just have a block of unallocated space. So right click on the unallocated space and select new simple volume. Then click next, click next again, click next again, and then make sure that file system is NTFS and then give the volume label a name. Let's call it bootcamp. And then click next. Now click finish. All right, so it's gonna format it, NTFS, that primary partition, and you also have your EFI partition as well. So we can close out of disk management. And now we wanna go up to virtual machine, go to CD, DVD, SATA, select choose disk or disk image. Now we wanna to go to our desktop and point to the Windows disk image, and then click open. All right, so now we wanna go back up to the menu bar, virtual machine, CD, DVD, SATA, and then connect CD slash DVD. And this will mount the Windows 10 disk image. Okay, so now back to our Mac desktop, we wanna grab the Win to USB executable and drag that over to the Windows desktop on the virtual machine and release. And then do the same with the Windows support folder. I'm gonna drag that over to the Windows virtual machine as well, the desktop and release. That'll take a while because it's pretty big. Okay, so now we want to install Win to USB. Just double click on it. And then select yes. And then okay. I accept, next, 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 next. <laughs> install, finish. And just close out of the browser that opens. I don't know why they do that, but they do. So you wanna open up Wind USB now, and then click yes, and close out of the browser again. Then uncheck check update on startup if you want to, it's up to you, click okay. Then choose the little CD drive here, and then in the drop down menu, select your Windows 10 disk image, which is right here. All right, make sure Windows 10 Pro is selected, and then click next, and then for destination disk, select your external drive, which is right here. Now under EFI system partition, choose the first radio button there for EFI. 
and then under Boot Partition, choose the radio button next to Boot Camp. And then make sure Legacy is selected and then click Next. All right, this is gonna take a little while. So basically you're installing Windows 10 on the external drive now. And I sped this up quite a bit. Just be patient, it's gonna take a while on your machine. Okay, so now we're at 100%, so we're finished. Installed successfully, just click the Home button and then close out of Win to USB. Okay, so now open up Windows Explorer and then open up the Boot Camp Drive and now drag the Windows Support folder from the desktop over to the Boot Camp Drive. That way we have our drivers ready to go once we boot into Windows on our Mac. Okay, so now we can go ahead and shut down the virtual machine. It's been nice knowing you. Thanks for helping out VMware Fusion. So go up to Virtual Machine, select Shut Down, click Shut Down. And now you can quit VMware Fusion. Okay, so now back to the Mac OS desktop. We're going to go ahead and open up System Preferences. And then click where it says Startup Disk. Click the little lock in the bottom left hand corner. You see the bootcamp windows there, but click the lock first. Put in your administrator password, click unlock, and then select bootcamp windows, and then click restart. So this is gonna restart into the Windows bootcamp setup from the external drive on your Mac. So just click restart. And here's what you're gonna see when you reboot the Windows logo. So this is the initial Windows setup. This will obviously take a while, just be patient, I've sped this up. So basically you just go through the setup again, but this time everything's running on that external drive. Really cool. So again, set it up to your liking. I turn off all the privacy settings. So folks, we have a Bootcamp Windows 10 installation on our external drive running on our Mac. Last thing you need to do, open up Windows Explorer, open up the Bootcamp folder, find Windows support that we prepared earlier. I'm gonna open that up, open up Bootcamp, and then double click on Setup. And this will go through the Bootcamp setup to install all of the necessary drivers for things like your Magic Keyboard and for the display adapter all that stuff, you can see the drivers there. Definitely don't forget to do that to complete the installation. It'll ask you to reboot and once you do, you're gonna see a little bootcamp logo in the task manager. You can click on that to go to the bootcamp control panel or to restart back into Mac OS. So ladies and gents, that is how you set up a Windows 10 bootcamp installation on an external drive on your Mac. If you appreciated this video, please leave me a thumbs up and subscribe for more videos. Let me know what you think in the comments. This is Jeff with 9to5Mac.